This video shows you how to stitch out our embossed design on towels. Stay tuned for the free design. Thank you for stopping in at Come Hobby with us. Today's video is going to be on how to do some towels. What we have are some Mr. and Mrs. His and Her Towels. This project is for an embossed design. And this is the, a finished one here of the towel that says hers. And as you can see, the embossed is back here and it knocks it down and then your towel comes through here when we emboss it and the letters are fluffed up. This one is an oval shape with the, um, the embossed background. The, you could get the pattern for either hers, his, Mr. or Mrs. I have all four and the oval is the same size. So if you're watching the video, it's the same directions for no matter which ones you're doing. And the video allows you, the pattern allows you to change the uh, outside border co color if you would like to. I would like to this all in white. I like the fact that this adds kind of a little lacy look around it. But let me show you this one. This was a sample I did, and this is the Mrs. And so this was done on an old piece of brown towel. I cut it out uh, to kind of use it as a placement guide, which you'll see in the video. So the placement guide shows you the Mrs. design, but the video we are stitching out the hers design. I hope you like it. Here is a quick list of the supplies needed. I did this design on towels, so if you're doing that, you will need two large bath towels with a good nap. You're going to need some water-soluble stabilizer. You will need some pins, or you can use sew-type magnets, or a spray adhesive, or a combination. You're going to need thread. Your top thread can be in one color or two. Choose something that's complementary to your design. Your bobbin should be the same color as your top thread. You're also going to need the design and the directions and a placement pattern. All of these can be found for free at comehobbywithus.com slash shop. We're going to begin with using a wash away embroidery stabilizer. This one is by Solufilm. Another brand that I like is the Solbase brand by Sulky. Either brand will work, just make sure you have a good wash away stabilizer. Cut a piece of the stabilizer and put it in your hoop. Make sure you have it nice and tight and that all their edges are within the, the hoop frame. I have already stitched out a sample with the misses on here. I then cut that out uh, because I wanted to use it for a placement. And what I'm going to do is place this on the towel where I want it to stitch out. This is going to give me a good idea of where mine needs to go. If you didn't stitch it out, I have a placement guide that you can download. And all you have to do then is take this, print it out, tape the two pieces together. It does print out on two pages, but you can easily piece that. Once that is done, you will take and cut this. And then you can use a paper placement guide rather than the stitched out placement guide. Next, I like to find the center of my towel. My towel measured 29 inches, so I am putting a pin at 14 and a half inches. This was going to help me when I put my placement piece down. I am going to fold our guide, whether you're using a stitched guide or the paper guide, and I'm going to fold it in half each way. I can then use this to place this where I'm going to want my design on the towel. Pin the placement guide where you want the design to stitch out. Once you have the placement where you want it on the towel, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to lay that towel over your hoop, over the hoop and the stabilizer. I want you to be sure that you're, you have it straight. Uh, and if you'll check that where the little notch is on your hoop and line that up with that pin that we said was for the middle. 
you should be good to go. Also, check to see that you're straight um, as far as up and down and side to side. If you'll notice, I do double check that from the edge of my oval to each side is the same distance. Next, we're going to secure the towel to the stabilizer. To secure the towel to the stabilizer, we can use some pins, we can use so tight magnets, or we can use some spray adhesive. Let me show you uh, the so tight magnets. If you're not familiar with so tight magnets, they come in uh, a packet of several. They are very tight magnets that can be used in place of pins. They are strong. They're, you do have a top piece, and this little piece goes to the bottom. Now, uh, they are very strong, as I said, and when I'm putting them back together, I kind of do it from a distance because I have snapped my fingers with them. All right, let's get this one back open, and you're going to see that what we're going to do next is we're going to move the towel and the hoop close to the edge of my table. I'm going to lift the towel up and I can put the bottom piece under one corner of my hoop. And it is outside the sewing area of the design. And then from the top I can put the top piece. And this will secure it just as if it was pinned. I like to try these sew tight magnets. I do have a link in the description area below. If you choose to pin your towel to your stabilizer, I pull it to the uh, edge of the table just like I did for the magnet, but I put a pin all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and pin mine all the way around. Once I have two corners pinned, I go ahead and carefully turn my towel around so I can get to the other two corners to secure them. Before I pin them, however, I'm going to gently pull the towel back and I am going to use some spray adhesive. This will help keep everything in place. You don't need much. You just need a little bit to make it kind of tacky and you can put a little bit um, wherever you think you need it. Just enough to hold it. I can let it kind of dry for just a sec and then I fold my towel back in place. I make sure that the towel is straight and then I gently kind of press down on everything to get that stickiness to hold. At this point, we can take our placement piece off. Our last step before we go to the sewing machine is we're going to cut another piece of our water-soluble stabilizer. And we are going to place that on top of our project that is already in the hoop. You can secure this with pins or I'm going to use a little bit of spray adhesive. Then I'm going to carefully fold the towel up and secure my project because I am transferring it back upstairs to my sewing room. Meet you there. Okay, we're back upstairs and ready to sew. I'm following along with my directions, make sure I don't forget anything. One of the first things that I do want you to do is I want you to double check your bobbin. Make sure the bobbin is full. When I stitched out the sample design, it used approximately two-thirds of a bobbin. But you just want to, don't want to run out necessarily in the middle. I have my machine threaded and I have brought my file up on a USB drive. We are going to hit embroider on our machine. Then we are going to choose our design and bring it up. After that, we are going to hit the embroider button. Next, we want to put our hoop on our machine. Now, if you remember, my towel was large, and I, as I put this on here, I am going to have my t extra part of the towel off to my left because of the way I hooped it. So I am going to just unfold that, gently slide the towel and the hoop under the needle, kind of pull any extra towel out and flatten it out so it doesn't get caught. 
I'm going to lift up a corner so I can see to slide my hoop in, and then I'm going to lock it down. We shouldn't have to remove the hoop until we're finished. This next step is very important. Look at the orientation of your design. Mine was facing the wrong way, so I have rotated that so that it will be in the correct orientation for the way my towel is laid out. I have hit the button to make sure my design is centered, and I am going to double check that by measuring from my needle point to the edge of my towel. When we measured our towel earlier, we knew 14 and a half inches was to the center, and it is still at that point. My towel is big and it is heavy. Therefore, to keep the weight from pulling against the hoop, I'm going to gently fold my towel up and let it rest on the part of the carriage arm. All right, so we're almost ready to start uh, sewing. We're gonna um, go ahead and check the perimeter. And then if you notice, your display will tell you how many uh, stitches this is going to take and the approximate amount of time, depending upon your speed setting, and the number of steps. I am only going to use one color of thread, but there are thread stops in here, so if you want to change the color, you can do that. We're going to begin with step one. This is going to put a placement stitch for the oval, and then it will put a lockdown stitch. This is going to secure all of our layers together. There will be a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch. After that, this towel is not going to move. Okay, our machine is threaded and we're ready to go. So we're going to uh, put our needle down and we're going to hit start. Now, this first stitch is um, the, a straight stitch. And it's just putting this around the oval. This is going to help lock all of our layers together, as I said. If you'll notice, I'm also kind of smoothing the towel out a little bit with my hands. I don't usually have to do this, but this is a large towel and uh, like I said I'm watching the weight to pull on it and just want to make sure everything on that this first stitch around on the oval uh, everything is uh, laying flat as I need it to. Okay. Now once this stitch finishes it's going to do a zigzag stitch around. My zigzag stitch was a little tight and it took a long time to go around. It did not need to be that tight. So what I have done is I have gone back and adjusted the pattern. So the pattern you're getting will not have the super tight zigzag. It should go a lot faster than what mine did. So we're going to let this stitch out and it's going to stitch the zigzag all the way around now uh, to secure our towel and have everything in place. When your machine stops after this zigzag stitch, we will be ready for step two. You will notice I did not change my color because I'm doing mine all in one color. You may also notice that step two begins by filling in the center of that little E space. Then it will move over to the outer edge where it will give us our next stitch. This is a very long step, but it is well worth the wait. You don't have to do a lot, just sit and baby your machine. We're just going to sit and watch this stitch out. Uh, you'll have a lot of lines going one direction and then they'll come back the other. I think you'll uh, see that this is a very easy type of uh, design, but it gives you such an elegant look. We're going to just skip ahead a little bit so you don't have to watch 30 minutes of this going back and forth. I'm going to pause this for a minute and I want you to see that it looks like it has skipped some places. I don't know if you can see that on there, but uh, it has not skipped it. It will come back. Uh, all of this will be filled in, so don't worry if you see some spots like this. 
We finished step two, and look how nice those letters are going to stand out. We're now ready for the last step, step three. We're going to uh, see that we are on step three. It does show a color change. As I told you, I'm doing mine all in one color. But if you wanted to change the color, now is the time to do it. This is going to stitch this outside border, and it's going to give it a nice little lacy look. This will stitch all the way around twice. When you have stitched the outer border and your machine tells you you're done, then you're going to be ready to remove your hoop and towel from the machine. Just pull everything up and unlock your hoop and gently slide it out. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now what we're going to do is remove the pins that are holding the towel to the back stabilizer. Then we're going to gently tear away the salve around the oval. Do not worry if you don't get it all because we're going to be dissolving the salve. This just has less now for us to have to uh, worry with when we're dissolving this. Okay, so just gently tear around it. And oops, last little bit didn't want to come. There we go. Then we're going to turn our hoop over. Oops, I skipped a pin. And we're going to remove the towel from the hoop. We're finished with our hoop. We can set that aside. And from the back side, we're going to, again, gently tear away the stabilizer. You don't want to pull any of the stitches as you do this, so be very gentle. Uh, again, whatever doesn't come out now will come out when we uh, dissolve the rest of the stabilizer. Okay. Now, I like to also check the back, cut any threads. Uh, remember, the back of the towel is going to be seen. And we're also going to zoom in here. I want you to see if you want to cut the threads, but do not cut the knots. Just finish trimming up any extra threads. Do remember that this is going to be seen from the back side, but we don't want to leave threads that someone might catch on and end up ripping some of our stitching out. All right. All right, I will finish cleaning this up. And then we are ready to dissolve the rest of our water-soluble stabilizer. As you're cleaning this back up, I don't want you to try to cut out the stabilizer that is over the letters or in front of the letters on the other side. If you were to try to cut that out, you could easily, with your scissors, catch part of the towel and cut your towel or cut some of the loops. We're not really worried about the stabilizer here because that's going to dissolve that small part when we rinse this out. Steve is now going to put the towel in a sink of water and we're going to just swish it around a few minutes and then after that uh, just kind of dissolve the stabilizer then we're going to throw it in the dryer. Okay, there you are. Wasn't that easy and simple? Uh, I like stitching it in one in one color because you stitch this in one color, there is no color change. You do have to sit and baby your machine a little bit, but it's fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's more luxurious than it looks than the amount of work that had to go into it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me show you a picture of the his and hers together, and be sure and hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks. Until next time.